gallop town. Then we got back to that twice for kind. Sky back up town to the shop. Why much then we walk on? What is there to do? Is there more to life than this? What is there to do? Just gonna make a decision to make life better. Just gonna make a decision to make life better. I know the fix, but it feels good. Sitting around this town, nothing else to do. But the smile, I know it's bad, but I like it. Just gonna make a decision to make life better. What is there to do? Is there more to life than this? What is there to do? Just gonna make a decision to make life better. Just gonna make a decision to make life better. What is there to do? Is there more to life than this? What is there to do? Just gonna make a decision to make life better. Just gonna make a decision to make life better. Just gonna make a decision to make life better. Just gonna make a decision to make life better. It's 
It's a flat country where the whirly winds blow. There's a swimming spot at the junction where we all like to go. Is it still a peaceful place to live with people running you down? Have we forgotten how to live together? Newtown and the bottom end The Bronx is gone Flash houses up at the posh end Yeah, we all get along The meeting of the rivers The Bowen and the Namoy Look after each other Our sisters and our brothers through our sorrows, our sorrows and our joys The meeting of the rivers The Bowen and the Namoy Look after each other, our sisters and our brothers Through our sorrows, our sorrows and our joys That's bad, man. That's <laughs>
I'm wow good. <laughs> yeah, what's up, my brothers? Mad I break yeah, mad I break yeah. Come we got river bra. I'm from wow good. <laughs> Smart daddy, Smart daddy. No, not for much to do, Ibra. Smart daddy. Madness. Wait. Mom, what's the place to be? <laughs>comes from this place and she's a Camilleroy woman and dad's from Ipswich in Queensland and he's a Gurupal man. So that's two worlds apart. The Camilleroy people have got a very, very rich and knowledgeable language. Yeah, the old clay band dances would dance all night. <laughs> yeah, those are the days. It was a funny thing when someone had a dance here and what would they have one and could do with the next night, you know? You used to go around for one. Yeah. One place to the other. It's the same as the old corroboree. When they used to have a corroboree in Gadooga there, nobody would say anything about it, but you always hear Rwanda had one this next night, you know, it always seemed to go around. Yeah. Oh, Walter Bloomfield. He, uh, he used to play mouth organs. He'd, he'd, he'd dance all night and play a mouth organ at the same time. And, He'd blow out three or four mouthfuls every night, you know, and he'd never stop. He'd go from daylight to dark. And I've lived in Walga for the last 67 years. Yeah, we had a school here. It was the one primary, and uh, and uh, I think you went to uh, sixth class. Some Aboriginal children didn't make it to sixth class because they had to leave at school when they were 15. They had to go to work, they couldn't go any further. Um, years ago in Walgut, a lot of Aboriginal kids weren't allowed to attend school, weren't allowed to invite to birthday parties, and weren't allowed to walk the streets. Aboriginal kids, in, when they went to school, they always had to colour in with a piece of paper and a crayon, and a crayon. And the um, Chinese kids had a choice to colour in or look at the board and do their work, and the white kids had to do their work and look at the board. One Aboriginal kid looked at the board and then he got sent to the principal office and then he got the cane across his arm. I like getting my education. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be lazy and stuff. I want to get a job. When I grow up, I want to be in Melbourne, I'll be in Newcastle. And I would be in Tannerfield or Queensland. When I get big out of school, I want to go to, um, I want to go to sort of like a thing where it sort of takes me to be a doctor. I want to go to the universe and try to be a teacher. I want to get a job, like a permanent job where it helps me out and all this stuff. I come to school every day except for Saturday and Sunday and holidays. Um, I would like to learn and how to do stuff. Hi, my name is Victoria Russell. All my family is at the mission. That every person at the mission is my cousin and that they my everybody there. You know in the school there was a guy's cook and sausages in the school toilets and people wouldn't go in there so they went into the girls toilet. They went to the toilet and they went to class and then they saw a Guys in the class. Yeah. I'm going now. That would make a good film, wouldn't it?
Tell you back in the old days, I was just a be in Walgut. Back in Walgut, people wasn't allowed to walk the streets. Little kids wasn't allowed to over town. They wasn't allowed to pass Tommy Johnson's. They was put on a um, truck from the from the mission. They was put on a truck, <laughs> driving out to town. I've been in Walgut for 51 years, and my husband comes from here. When I first came here, I got the shock of my life. We went to the movies. We weren't allowed to go upstairs in the theatre. We had to sit downstairs and we had to sit down the front. That's what Aboriginal people had to do. This is the river where all the rocks is. We're just standing here and listening to it. Okay then, just have a good listen. I've heard the old people saying they caught a great big cod. It was 250 pounds. And what they did was they made a special look of seal. They put a chunk of meat on it and they had a fencing wire. They chucked it in the river and the big fish got hooked on it. Took 14 shears to pull him out. And then they put him on the back of a truck. They uh, put a tent over it and they charged everyone a shilling, what we call 10 cents a day. We can't fish like we used to. The water's very dirty. Right, and I used to come down to the jetty. That's what we used to call it, the jetty. See the big pump and that up there? We used to hang around that jetty all the time. Never used to go to the swimming carnival. Come over in our own swimming carnivals. Over here. Done our old yabby and up here. We used to catch the biggest yabbies down there, right on that bend where them old rocks are down there. Look, where the big cement slabs are. This is a stock crossing. They just bring all their animals, save them, take them through the town and that. They bring them across here. And on the bend up there, that's where we swim. That's the rocks. Big swing there, nearly every bend you go to, there's a swing in a tree. So it doesn't matter where you go, <laughs> they got a swing in the tree. Here, this Namai River is the best yabbying spots. When you go yabbying, go to the Namai, get the biggest blueies going. These are natural rocks in there, man never put these rocks in here. You see that one little green island there, that's not dirt island, that's all rocks. That one where the grass is on top. That's all dirt. Now you go in there and walk in there now, bet you any money, that's rocks. But my that's mud. Come with me then. <laughs> go and play with my friends in that day. Go and ride bikes. Just all my friends here, and you get any, you get hang out more. Um, shooting shingles. Mm. Ride motorbikes. And you can do a um, bit of rap. I like coming to use on or something now, every now and then. Cause um plenty of games there. Like handball, touch football, pole table, yeah. It's the best of town you can stay. Play pole. That's a new tonight. It's a good place to stay. We go to, we go to school every day. Play pool. It's 
Sometimes we just play handball or cricket. Ride Maui works. Ride our bikes around, take jumps. Play basketball at the news centre. Go fishing. The activities at the youth centre. Play basketball at the news centre. Go to the park. Play bingo, <laughs> play cards. And the children weren't allowed to walk around like they do today. They had to be home at bed by 8 o'clock. Early to bed, early to rise. That's what they used to say to us. My auntie told me that back in olden days they used to have three dollar for their money. Yeah. And it was hard back then. Yeah. yeah. What made it hard, did they say? They had to be at school every day. Or docs yeah. would pick them up and take them away. And had to listen to their parents. It was very yep, strict the, back then. And it the was. way how we get around now, that's the it way it is. If it was like like if it was the back back in the olden days now, we so wouldn't be like this. So they gotta stay at home, so they gotta they go home. home. And work and sit yeah. there. That was like back in the day. When we was at the mission, we'd go for a walk through the bush, Dad. Cause the bush to us, even till today, is like going for back in time to your tribal roots. And like you're walking with your ancestors. Yeah, even just to go and sit down and listen in the bush. When we was walking out, out onto Cameron's property, we was on the bridge. It was getting to Nemai Gully there. Yeah. When they picked us up on the main road out in the they they'd um, gully there, Nemai Gully. They'd bring us home and tell, tell our parents we was way out, way out near the silos. But we wasn't. We was near the oh, really? bridge. We was near the bridge. Yeah, right. They only tried to get us in trouble. And they got really? hit. Really? They got hit. All the big boys, all the big boys. Do you think that's fair? No, no. Okay. Have you told anyone about it? No. No, yeah, yeah, we can't tell it. Yeah, what do they reckon? They reckon just don't worry about it. <laughs> just don't worry about it, eh? Yeah. Can you ever say no to it? No. no. Why? Cause, don't know. It's there when know. it's there. Yeah, it's but there. if it's there, you can say no. But not really. We say That's no. Like we're not going to get the next for a lot of money. What would you say? I'll say no. Well, why can't you say no to drugs? Because it's there. If people offer to you, you, you take it. You don't it. take it. You don't have to take it. You yeah, don't have to, but if you want it, you can take it. So we just took it. Um, my pop and my uncle died from drinking and so people reckon that um, yarn is supposed to be good for you but it ain't. If you get addicted to it you gotta have it all the time and there's people around Walga can't support themselves and they take it out on other people. I used to smoke it and I was addicted to it. I used to be bad on like I had to have it as soon as I wake up. Ever since I've been I haven't been smoking or I've changed a lot. Never used to talk up to people because I was stoned and like used to just sit there. And it was a waste of money too. Mm -hmm. It was like every time I used to have money, that's what I used to do is buy drugs. Mm -hmm. My dream was being a nurse. Yeah. yeah but they got dropped out of school. I got kicked out for 16 months and I didn't bother going back. Get beyond your kids. Well, you know they're going to turn out okay. I like the town. I always said I'd move when my kids finish school, but I'm still here. <laughs> I won't move. <laughs>